Hello, people of the internet. It's the host of The Nest, Ethan Parker. A review of games and other video game related stuff. My views are strictly mine and do not reflect East Lake High School's opinion. That being said, roll intro. Overwatch. Again. It has been a year since the game has changed. The first time I reviewed Overwatch, let's be honest, that was boring, and I paused a lot. Not only that, but the review was so unstructured, it was not fun to watch. With, with all the things to talk about, how could I not review again? Without further ado, let's get into this. Since we left Overwatch, it was pretty bare bones so far. That included the featured 21 heroes. Obviously, four have been added, those characters being Ana, Sombra, Orisa, and Doomfist, in that order. This is a general review, however, so I'm not going into detail about that, but you can go look it up later. However, some of the characters have changed the gameplay as we know it today. Some characters have gotten reworked as well, such as Symmetra as she was not really fun to play with, and honestly a chore. But now she has her little invincible shield, as well as a shield generator, and it just seems more fun to play her, especially seeing how I... She's just, she's just fun. Just trust me on that one. The maps have changed as well. We're soon getting deathmatch and reveal that Games Kong was Junker Town. And obviously some game modes have been added, capture the flag, elimination, and Soon to be added deathmatch, as I've said. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, skins. Skins. Don't forget about the skins. If you didn't pay attention to what's on o my last video on Overwatch, that's fine, you know? I wouldn't have either. The game, simplified, is to stop the enemy team from owning 100% of the map. The defense team, while only loses that 0% ownership, has the job of preventing the enemy team from capturing an area or pushing an object. And while that may seem easy on paper, it's only executable with a good team and a good strategy. That means you do not, I repeat, do not need to follow the meta to win a game. The exception to this attack defend formula is when you are playing King of the Hill Elimination Deathmatch and Capture the Flag, where both teams are simultaneously attacking and defending a flag or their lives. Or a point. Oh right, and the characters. Characters come with a couple abilities and an ultimate. Based on their abilities and weapons, they are put into classifications of offense, defense, tank, and support. However, these classifications don't necessarily dictate what is good for your team. Overwatch has some interesting story and great lore that surrounds the game. The key word is surrounds. In all honesty, though, it is a strictly multiplayer game. And when Titanfall 1 had a campaign for multiplayer, it was bad. It was really, really bad. If you wish to know the story, though, the game has very references to the comics and animated shorts, the backbone of the Overwatch universe. The comics are well done, and the animation, to say the least, is eye-pleasing. I enjoy Overwatch in bits because, especially when solo queuing, the experience... The game exp I enjoy Overwatch in bits... Because, especially with solo queuing, the game experience might often more than not harm a person, not harm, but more along the lines, metaphorically burn a person out like a flame. The per player either leaving out of tilt or boredom. I recommend buying the game if you're in the highly competitive games, but not really for the casual man. To restate, this is my opinion, and you are welcome to disagree. Or don't, that's up to you. My name is Ethan Parker, and from Eastlake High School, I bid you a good weekend. Thanks for watching.